Welcome back. This is going to be my daily forecast for the foreign exchange market. We're going to look at five different currency pairs. And uh, this will be my daily forecast for 25th of September 2022. If you want to support our channel, you're welcome to subscribe and hit the like button and the bell button in order to see uh, our newest videos. Um, so at this moment on my screen, I have the uh, British pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, uh, we rallied from this uh, support uh, level here, which is the, the 200 moving average and the 150 moving average at the 1266. Um, and we uh, went all the way up to the 300 moving average at 1276. Uh, 76 and we found resistant there so we're trading within this area um, if you look at the technical indicators uh, the macd is about to turn around it's still really negative and quite far away from the signal line so it will probably take a few days uh, we were uh, overbought uh, a few days ago but now we're at this uh, 35 so we're not overbought um, the stochastic is pointing upwards at this point, uh, but we're far, far away from the signal line. So uh, we may see this, uh, we see very choppy trading within this um, two moving averages. However, this is just an, an incredibly difficult pair to, to trade. Um, due to the fact that there's so many things going on with the British economy, uh, it is technically, uh, I don't know, um, yeah, well, probably in the worst economy in the world at this point, and there's just no end in sight. Uh, if we look, if we have basically a resistant line here, we technically we need to break this resistant line in order to go the upside. However, there's so many things, factors that are going against the sterling at this point that. I, don't expect this market to rally anytime soon, uh, especially now also the, uh, that the US dollar is appreciating. So uh, if we break this um, res uh, support area here, we'll go much lower. We'll go all the way down to this area here, which is 1251. Then we'll go to most likely this area here, which is at uh, 1225. And if that breaks, we may fall even further, all the way to down to, to uh, 11.41. So if you look at US dollar yen, well, yesterday I said we would find resistant uh, here at the uh, 20 expansion moving average, and we did, we ran into resistant, and at this point we may go lower. We also may go and retest this uh, 50 moving average, but that is as far as this pair probably will go before we break to the downside. We see that we have some upwards momentum. However, if we look at historically how this uh, pair has uh, what, uh, resistant levels that this pair has been uh, having, if we don't uh, pull back at this uh, 20 exponential moving average, we'll definitely fall back at the 50 exponential moving average and then we'll go down to these lows which is around around uh, four uh 104 so uh, this is not a market i would uh, i would buy this is basically selling on every rally now um US dollar, uh, European euro, and US dollar. Sorry, uh, we did rally a little bit. We did not get uh, all the way down to the hundred moving average at uh, eleven fifty nine, but that should also be uh, significant support at this point. I do expect us to go all the way down here. If we look at the MACD, it's really negative. There is a, real, a long way to go before we see any upside for uh, this pair. You just look at the uh, stochastic as well. That is is looking really negative and we're not even oversold yet. If you look at the weekly chart, we can see how far we have to go to the downside. We may even break this uh, 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 moving average here and then we'll go all the way down to 1140 
and then we'll run into this pink line here which is 150 moving average and this will be quite a ass to go through all of this uh, uh, all of these moving averages uh, I don't really see any upside at the moment especially because the US, US dollar is appreciating and that will just cause a lot of problems for this pair if you look at the US, uh, Aussie US dollar we did break down but we also bounced again and at the moment we are just hanging around the technical indicators for this pair are horrible uh, so expect more downside we will run into resistance here at 0 0.69 and uh, then we have this uh, moving average here which is 150 at uh, 0 0.688 and then at uh, 0 0.6817 uh, at this point there's no reason to buy this uh, as long as the US dollar is appreciating then this market will go significantly lower we can also see the stochastic that we have a long way to go before we um, turn around in this market so US dollar Canadian dollar we ran into some uh, resistant at uh, 1.30 uh, 34 um, and at this point I didn't really expect us to go all the way down to the up to the 300 moving average that I do expect us to do um, the MACD is looking really nice uh, momentum is to, uh, to the upside we're far away from the signal line uh, RSI is quite negative uh, but the stochastic is very positive for the weekly so uh, we will most likely test this uh, moving average here if we, that breaks then we have the 150 and 200 moving average just above at uh, 1360 and if that breaks then we'll go much higher from here uh, we'll go all the way up to uh, uh, this area here which is at 1385 uh, if we were to break down then we have these uh, three moving averages right underneath and they will be of course uh, quite uh, supportive so hope you find this video helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hit the bell button and the like button good luck and happy trading